What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Diz here. And you know, I'm coming with another hitter. All right, so last video, I was showing y'all how we took down the tank and then a little update on the new tanks and stuff and the new fish, you feel me? So this setup and this tank, this video, this drop, I'm showing y'all the new living room setup, the new tank, the new big boy. And yeah, I think y'all gonna like it. It's got a lot of fish in it already, exotic fish. They doing good. So with that being said, let's get straight to it. And here we have a 180 gallon. It's our new setup for the living room. It's deep as you tell, real deep. 24 inches deep, 25 inches tall, and it's 72 and a half inches long. We got two peacock bass in here. There go a pike. We have our arowana. If you let us see them right there. I had two, but unfortunately, overnight he was always a bully since day one. And overnight, the other one woke up. We got uh, like a little hangy, like like a. Um, what you would call like a scared or stressed type swim mode to him. He wasn't like that, like fluent. It was all like glittery and floating to the side and catch itself. So I put him in another tank, but he ended up not making it. And pretty, I was aware of it because they're aggressive. But I played it, figured that was a bit. This was before they was in this tank also. This was when they were in just the little 75 tank until this tank got ready, so. Yeah, but here we got our alligator gar. It's two of those in here. We got our red devil that was in our, we opening your mouth for him. <laughs> he was in our cichlid tank, African cichlid tank, if y'all remember. It's two pikes, but here go one. And we got a dojo loach right here. We got Paku. We got a quarry cat. They was with our Africans also. I took them out because, as you see, Africans was bullying them to eating their fin. We got a butterfly pleco right here. Uh, it's three of the quarry cats. It's three of the pakus. We got a convict sickly also back there. Let me see if we can get a better view of them. Nah. We have the gray bircher, biker. We've got six tiger barbs. They got the two peacock bass. That's a spotted gar. These are the alligator gar. So he got a light, he's skinnier with a longer snout on him. So we got another dojo loach tribe there. Like I said, it's two of them in there. This plant, I don't know the name of it, but it's also real. We have this plant, it's real and it's growing pretty nice. And we have this plant that's also real. All donated to me by a local buddy who grows plants. He also gave me some moss. I don't know if y'all see it hanging off. That's all like good real moss it's a plant of moss also going off of it if you see the stem if you know what you're looking at this also right here that's another fern plant or something of some sort right here i didn't plant that one i just let it attach to make it blend in like those uh, we got a common pleco hotel hanging out the back right there. and to talk about a little bit of what goes along with stuff like this I got a 60 inch, 35 watt Fluval Aqua Sky light. And it's app controlled by your phone. You can make it do like thunderstorms, sun, to moon, light, whatever you want, colors, all of that. That's what that light does. Um, it's running a FX6. Fluval canister 
pump also. Uh, let me show you what's going on over here. So yeah, one's going in over there. The other one is technically sucking, well, pushing it out. So in means it's sucking in the canister, out's pushing out. So as I show you in a minute, which one, what those are doing, but that's what's in here is my filter, one of them. And that filters up to 400 gallon tank. And here we have our feeder tank. Cause yeah, that was all the fish in there pretty much eat live fish. So I got my bubble machine in here to keep these babies running. They don't necessarily need a filter. And I got all my air lines as you see ran into here for my air pumps for the tank also which are in the background did you see we still got to get the background for this tank but i got the big 500 watt heater which heats up a lot of water it's already the temp and it's been good for me ever since i bought it now you see this guppy he a big size feeder guppies he might last a little while till these lights get turned off. They got a good view of the convict, another pipe. And let's not get sidetracked. This is what's sucking out the water going into that pump. And then here we have the other pump. As you see, Emperor 400, which I believe is rated for itself is up to like a 200 gallon tank. Um, I'm still get the background for this tank, but yep, that's what goes along with like right here. I have to cut and make the room for the lids because arowanas jump, and you want to make sure you got secure lids for them so nothing they ain't got no room to get out. And that guard get me on there. Yeah, thought I'd show y'all our new baby, a new setup in our living room. We got reap. Raptor, I meant, not Reaper, Raptor. Chilling right here. I named one of my fish Reaper. <laughs> but yeah, good clean water. You know, we got his pump on here. I never really showed y'all maintenance on him, but yeah. Nice little basic setup. His is about to get changed real good. And just like that, I hope y'all liked it. I love it. Uh, Took a leap of faith by letting go of my other baby, the 125, and hey, it's only up from here. This is gonna be my smallest tank in the future. Yeah, I said it. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for supporting this and watching. If y'all still watching this long, like, comment, subscribe. And if you still watching this long, let us know you watched this long by leaving a green check in the comments. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.